Jimmy Mellon, good afternoon, Dutch. I was just wondering if you had any insights to the infamous Doug Gilbert promo, where he basically exposed Brian Christopher as being Lawler's son, <laughs> accused Randy Hales of smoking crack, and accused Jerry Lawler of messing with a 13 year old girl. Do you know if there were any repercussions to Doug Gilbert's actions? Love listening to the podcast. Well, I do think Lawler got really, really mad at him. Randy Hales got really, really mad at him because he went out there and just, it was a shoot interview. And I don't know why they just didn't cut him off. But that was, you know, see, Memphis used to do a 90-minute show. Mm. An hour of it, 60 minutes of it or would, be for, would be for the rest of the territory. And the other would be just for Memphis. I think this just aired in the Memphis version. <clears throat> this, this was late. This was like Hales, late nineties. Uh, this. I think this was actually post USWA. This might be like Power Pro yeah, Wrestling. But is, it was. It was. It may have been the same setup though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It may be the same setup for TV because you know ninety minute shows. You don't get ninety minute shows anymore because you only got you only got sixty minute shows. Uh, and they would do 90 minutes for Memphis and only 60 for the rest of the rest of the territory. But when I heard that, I wasn't there, but I heard it. And I was highly entertained by that because <laughs> they, uh, I bet they, I, I bet the control room went nuts. Lance went nuts. They all went nuts <laughs> because I think D Doug was hanging onto that mic. So if they cut him off, you know, it would be obvious they cut him off, but I, I liked I liked the content of it. I I wouldn't want him to say it about me, but <laughs> what was Doug's issue? How come he just decided to do this one day? Well, it it dates back to Eddie Gilbert, and we should talk about him one day because Lawler was one of his heroes. And Jerry Lawler was the other one. And I used to watch some of his matches sometimes. And one night he'd be Terry Funk. Exactly. You know, he'd do the, the walk and he'd fall over. And then one night he'd be Jerry Lawler. Almost exactly. So he, those were his two heroes. And I think Eddie had gotten mad at Lawler and Randy Hale because they wouldn't book him or something but they would book Doug. So Doug went out there. He got mad about it. And Doug and Eddie were very close and Doug just defended him on TV. But I think in the wrong way, but that's one of the things that happens in wrestling. Do you have that interview? I could find it. Yeah. Well, we need to, we might need to show it. one Okay. Day. Let's pause. I'll find it. Okay. I found it. I don't know if we're going to get, great results from this because we've not seen it but let's play Brian Christopher if I was you I would want to play Doug Gilbert every week Ribeiro because you never got jacket. over listen let no, me tell you one thing over. boy yes. and listen you do not talk about my family you do not talk about me listen you want to you want to play that family card he wants to play the family card. You think he wants to play that card with me? Oh, oh me, Brian, that card could hurt you so bad. Listen, son, I'm out on the street. We need to. And people say, Speed up. It's, just, it's a good interview. <laughs> Why was Brian Christopher dragging them four or five belts around that little red wagon? That's fine. He can act like me all he wants. I don't care. But when he comes out here and you're going to be disrespectful to my mom or my dad, you know what? That little, that little thing in your ear there, Dave, that some people were talking to you from upstairs, I think maybe you should have said it's time to go to break. See, I'm not holding any one person responsible for what I'm saying. See, Randy Hills is upstairs with his hand on that little button that could cut me off. See, Randy, if I start saying something again, then I shouldn't about you running that road smoking crack. Hey, oh, oh, that's oh, not oh, true. Oh, 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 that's oh, not true. Oh, yeah, Dave, it is true, and Randy Hills has confessed. Well, well now let me tell you what we can do. Okay, you, okay. you have a point. You have a point. Okay, okay. we got to the smoking crack yeah. bit. That, that was something. Yeah, yeah. There we go. So. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. Was that a morning show it, as well? It was at 11 o'clock in the morning when it started. <laughs> <clears throat> 
But after I see it, and when he, now I think it was may, may have been set up. But does he talk about Lawler and a young girl? Somewhere in that, but I think it's just too long a video for us to be hunting it out. I mean, if I thought about it, I would have just like, I would have edited some highlights together, but yeah. Yeah. But it was good. Yeah. I liked it. 